I was talking the other day with our favorite listener, April Poff, about the recent anti-IVF moves by the Southern Baptist Convention and the Alabama Supreme Court. And she made a comment that stuck with me. She said something about being tempted to unblock a bunch of people just long enough to deliver an I told you so. And of course, that led me to reflect on all the fucking arguments that I've had over the years against people whose entire point was, well, it's not like they're actually going to come after contraception or in vitro fertilization. How many people tried to tell me that they wanted sexist outcomes for non-sexist reasons? How many people told me that I was being unreasonable for assuming that they were doing the thing that they've always done? And, and look, playing the part of Cassandra has been an ongoing theme for this show and the atheist movement in general for the last decade, right? We've been detailing their playbook all along the way, and every time we do, we're told some variation of, well, they couldn't possibly be about to do that, and then they'll do it, and somehow no amount of that happening over and over and over again seems to change the ease with which we are dismissed. So with that in mind, let's go back in time, shall we? to the good old days of early 2022 when pregnant people still had a constitutional guarantee that they got a say in how pregnant they wanted to be, right? When we were still being told that the abortion thing wasn't about sexism, we were told over and over again that we should be sympathetic to these assholes because for them, abortion was murder, right? So we should temper our criticisms by trying to remember that they weren't, at least in their own mind, they weren't subjugating women. They were saving unborn babies. Now, that was bullshit, right? It was always bullshit. I mean, some people on their side might have thought that, but it's not remotely exculpatory, especially since proof that they're wrong is there for the taking and they had to actively avoid it not to have it. To be clear, abortion is not murder. Both of those words have meanings and, and there's no crossover on the Venn diagram between them. And there were no shortage of people willing and even eager to share the contradictory information with them and prove that abortion wasn't murder the whole fucking time. And not just scientifically, right? They could have proved it philosophically and even theologically using their fucking Bible. After all, only the Catholics thought abortion was murder until it became politically advantageous to believe otherwise in the 1970s. So the fact that they chose to keep believing this shit despite the evidence should elicit zero sympathy. It's also worth noting how transient this murder accusation is, right? Even before they won on abortion, they'd already tried it out on a bunch of other shit they didn't like. When the Hobby Lobby decision exempted religious employers from paying for birth control, they got there by arguing that Hobby Lobby's owners believed that some form of birth control was murder. Right? Again, this was demonstrably untrue. I know because the fucking untruth of it was demonstrated in goddamn court. But the courts argued that that didn't matter because these people believed it was murder and therefore we should be sympathetic about it. And now that they got abortion and they're well on their way to getting contraception, what's murder now? Well, the fucking muerte du jour now is in vitro fertilization. They're trotting out this same tired bullshit argument that clump of 16 cells as a human being with hopes, dreams, and a favorite ninja turtle, and they're using it once again to ruin people's lives. Meanwhile, they've been following exactly the anti-woman playbook that we've been warning about since the very beginning because in a trajectory they will tell you is coincidental with a straight fucking face, this ever-shifting definition of murder always serves to disempower women. Always. They might sweep some other people up along the way, but the target has been subjugating women the entire time. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the next murder will be, right? But I'm sure that when it comes, it, I'll be asked to sympathize with this newfound belief that fucking tampons are human beings or women's suffrage is a form of genocide or whatever the fuck they're going to say next. And I'm just as sure that it'll be something that disempowers women even more. If I had to guess, I'd say the next bullseye is painted around divorce. I I'm not sure how they're going to pretend that divorce is murder, but this is a group of people that made drag queens reading Dr. Seuss into grooming and you go into the bathroom into me having my religious rights violated. So I don't doubt that they can. And they will. And yet, the same people that April is tempted to unblock over the IVF ruling will still bury their heads in the fucking sand. They'll still say that we're being paranoid or alarmist when we point out that they're not actually trying to outlaw divorce because they think marital bonds deserve personhood. That is, once again, we're going to find ourselves in a position where our opponents are pretending some innocent practices murder, and then we're going to get accused of hyperbole.